the American jury and Bulldog Nation. Welcome to Eric Dieter's Local News, where you get the news with opinions. And we cover it all, folks. Sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Parks Yoga. Check us out on all of our platforms. Well, grandmother grief. A grandmother lost her grandson to a shooting. It's the second time she's lost a grandchild. Can you imagine that? Where? Good old Cincinnati. Facebook Marketplace State, this person here is trying to steal peep, steal things from Facebook Marketplace. You show up, they steal from you. There's his photograph if you know him. Clifton, are you ready for this? Clifton Auto Theft. Remember, there was a shooting outside Skyline in Clifton yesterday or the day before, up 400%. What? Car thefts. Cop was ambushed. You know what they did? They had him come, get a call in, and come and amb classic ambush. S scary stuff to be a Cincinnati police officer. Shootings at UC. Yep, shootings near campus. Now let's put all this together. Put all this together, and it goes on and on and on. And what do I mock? I mock the city leaders. We gotta have a dialogue. We gotta come together, get the community. Blah 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 blah. No, we need to put the bad guys in jail. Go get them, Melissa Powers. In local news. Publix is coming to Independence, Kentucky, right down the street. I think it's a Tobin property in Cold Spring. Well, that'll be a big competition for Kroger because there's a Kroger right across the street. New fire chief is named. This guy right here is the new fire chief for the city of Cincinnati. A good old bookstore in Clifton. Closing. Been there forever. Another sad day for bookstores. In Kentucky news, Churchill Downs has issued a detailed report of all their problems. I haven't read it yet. I will and report back to you. Roy Kidd, the 91-year-old legendary coach at Eastern Kentucky University football team has passed away. May he rest in peace. Bashir is out raising Daniel Cameron by a bunch and it's not even close. And folks, it matters. You can slice and dice it. Sometimes it doesn't, but most time, when you have a gigantic disparity, it matters. The bottom line is Bashir is going to be able to communicate his message far and wide in much more detail than Daniel Cameron. Left for dead, this woman right here, Miss McDonald, left her mother to die on the floor. You know what that was all about? Money as always. Union money, a federal judge down in uh, Louisville has struck down the prohibition of teachers' unions taking money directly from teachers. They're allowed to do it. Quarles is up. He's one of the three finalists for the Kentucky Community Technical College System, and I'm very confident he'll get it. The other two finalists from out of state. So I think old Ryan Quarles has the inside track. And after he lost the governor's race and didn't take the lieutenant governor's race, uh, job, I heard that this is what he was interested. Ryan Quarles is perfect for that. Perfect for that. Kentucky credit cards. Kentucky is one of the, like the number seven, one of the lowest states, like 30%, have no credit cards. You know why? They just can't get them, I bet. Damages against the clerk, Davis, the Rowan County clerk. Remember, she wouldn't accept gay licenses. Well, there's going to be, there's a jury deliberating right now about what her damages would be. Kentucky Chief Justice Van Meter is not going to seek re-election. Happy retirement, Judge Van Meter. Outside government money is pouring into this governor's race. $50 million total spent and climbing. And guess who's behind in that too? Daniel Cameron. Folks, as a prognostic, prognosticator of these type of events, I'm predicting, by the way, I'm, I withdrew my support from Daniel Cameron, the way he treats me. Um, I'm not going to vote for Andy Bashir. I'm not supporting Andy Bashir, but I predict Bashir wins this thing, which is awful because Cameron should have won. He didn't get together with the Kraft folks. He hasn't pulled together anybody. He hasn't pulled together anybody. He hasn't united anybody. He's just running the Mitch. And by the way, I got an inside source where they admit 80% of the decisions are made by uh, McConnell spokes, 10% or 15% by Cameron, and 5% Robbie Mills. <laughs> McConnell is running this ship right into the ground. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great one.